Добивай його. Шахет, що? А за ним вертольот? Да. Бач пі пі пікірує. А, бачив? Ні. Воно дивиться весь шаша. Ага. Зараз буде бабах. Може. В остров. French authorities detained Russian Pavel Durov, the founder of the messaging app Telegram, at Le Bourget Airport on the outskirts of Paris. The investigation is preliminary and accuses him of terrorism, drug trafficking, fraud, money laundering, selling stolen goods, and sexual offenses against children. Durov could face up to 20 years in prison. The Russian embassy in France told that it plans to protect Durov's rights and seek consular access to him, but the French side has so far avoided engagement on this issue. Some news media outlets and telegram channels circulated reports that Durov met with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Azerbaijan. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov denied news media reports that Vladimir Putin allegedly met with the co-founder of the Telegram instant messaging service, Pavel Durov, during his visit to Azerbaijan. No, Peskov said, when asked whether there the meeting actually happened. Russian President Vladimir Putin paid a state visit to Azerbaijan from August 18 to 19. Some news media outlets and telegram channels circulated reports that Durov was also allegedly visiting Azerbaijani on the same dates and had an informal meeting with the Russian leader. Recall, Pavel Durov mysteriously managed to get French citizenship in 2021 without ever even living in the country. Normally, French citizenship requires proof of five years of residency, and seemingly more importantly to French authorities, five full years of paying income tax in France. Instead, Durov managed to get fast-tracked citizenship through a French foreign ministry initiative that awards naturalization based on some kind of action that contributes to the image, prosperity, and international relations of France. Durov, often referred to as the Mark Zuckerberg of Russia, launched Telegram with his brother Nikolai in 2013 and has a net worth of $9.15 billion, according to Bloomberg's Billionaire Index. He was born in Russia but left in 2014 after refusing to comply with requests from the Russian government to turn over data on Ukrainian contact users and now lives in Dubai. Fire that started at the oil base in Proltarsk city in Russia's Rostov region following the Ukrainian army's drone strike nine days ago still continues, local telegram channels reported. According to the reports, the fire has spread to the new oil tanks, and the reservoirs that were on fire the previous days have completely burnt out. It should be noted that the fire covered an area of more than 10,000 square meters in the first days. There were a large number of injured people among the firemen involved in extinguishing the fire. In the following days, the fire spread from the oil base area to residential areas. Currently, the scale of the fire has decreased.